Greetings, fellow spirits and seekers of the supernatural. Today, we're delving into the ethereal world of Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden, a game that's captured our hearts with its deep narrative and haunting choices. But the real question is, how do you navigate its tangled web of endings? Fear not, for I've traversed the ether to bring you a guide to every possible fate. Don't Nod has once again woven a tale rich with choice and consequence, offering us five distinct endings that reflect our journey through this ghostly saga. But beware, for here be spoilers. If you wish to discover these paths on your own, consider this your sign to return to New Eden before venturing further with us. For those still with me, let's start with the Ascend endings. The fate of Antia and Red, our protagonists, hinges on our decisions with the game's blame and Ascend mechanics. Will you guide them to a good ending with vows kept and spirits freed, or will the neutral ending see Red burdened by the weight of his choices? Achieving the good ending means embracing the light, ascending or banishing the lost souls you encounter, and making a solemn vow. It's a journey of sacrifice and redemption, leading to a touching farewell between our heroes. But stray from this path, and you'll find yourself in the neutral ending, where the shadows of blame darken Red's journey, leaving him to seek absolution in the memories of Antia. But what if you're drawn to the darker side of this spectral world? The bad ending awaits those who seek to resurrect Antia at any cost, demanding a trail of blame that tarnishes the reunion with guilt and foreboding. And for those who falter, unable to commit to their chosen path, the worst ending loops read into an eternal cycle of regret and repetition. Each ending weaves a different tale of love, loss, and the quest for redemption, challenging us to reflect on the impact of our choices. From the battles we fight to the spirits we save or condemn, banishers, Ghosts of New Eden asks us to consider what we're willing to sacrifice for the ones we love. In my journey through New Eden, I found myself captivated by the depth of its choices and the complexity of its consequences. Banishers is not just a game, it's a narrative experience that challenges us to confront our morals and desires. Whether you seek redemption, power, or simply the thrill of the unknown, your path will leave its mark on the world and its inhabitants. So, which path will you choose? Will you ascend to the light, or will the shadows claim you? Share your journey, your choices, and the endings you've uncovered in the comments below. And if you found solace in the spectral world of Banishers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more guides into the gaming beyond. Personal Opinion Banishers Ghosts of New Eden is a testament to Don't Nod's mastery of storytelling, offering a rich tapestry of narratives that invite us to explore the depths of human emotion and the complexities of choice. Each ending serves as a reflection of our journey, challenging us to consider the consequences of our actions in a world where the line between right and wrong is as ethereal as the spirits we encounter. The game's blend of superb combat and flawed balancing acts as a reminder that perfection lies in the balance, urging us to find harmony in our decisions. As a fan of narrative-driven games, Banishers is a hauntingly beautiful experience that I believe sets a new standard for interactive storytelling, proving once again that video games are a powerful medium for exploring the human condition. Until next time, may your choices illuminate the path before you.